All right, thank you. Thanks, Tim. That was great. I feel like I'm at a really intense course <laughs> trying to take notes. Um, all right, so uh, if I could invite our first uh, panel to start moving towards the front of the room, I will uh, introduce the moderator for the uh, first panel on our uh, first theme of threats and challenges. And uh, Martin Salon is a member of the steering committee, of course, and also a um, professor of marine ecology at the University of Southampton. Uh, and he'll be uh, moderating our first panel. Uh, thank you very much, and uh, um, just like to extend uh, the warm welcome to you, and, and also just take this opportunity to thank our, our local hosts for their, their um, hospitality um, over the last day or so. Um, we're going to move uh, format slightly um, in this session, and as you know, the, the structure of the two days is to look at threats and challenges before we move on to opportunities and, and, uh, and solutions. Um, and we've assembled a, a number of speakers that are, that are going to focus on that. And the, the idea behind this session really is to stimulate conversation and debate uh, around these issues, particularly the, um, to try and get the different disciplines here talking to one another. Um, so uh, in essence, we have um, what we want to do here is, is understand some of the um, emerging understanding around threats that climate change might pose to us, and in particular, what it might pose for ecosystems and diversity, and really focus on, on some of the phenomena that are, are poorly understood, what's emerging, um, what we don't know, um, what we do know, and, and how to, to kind of deal with that in, uh, in terms of uh, the fact that all of these factors, as we've heard this morning, interact with one another. So I, I have the pleasure of introducing um, our four speakers to, to my right um, this morning. Um, first of all, you're going to hear from uh, uh, Monica Turner from the University of Wisconsin-Madison. As many of you will know, um, Monica studied, um, uh, amongst other things, uh, fire, the effect of, um, uh, on vegetation dynamics, nutrient cycling. Uh, she's done some, some great work on bark beetles and, and the effects of climate change, uh, a lot in, in Yellowstone Park and, and elsewhere. And she'll be talking to us this morning about um, interaction, interacting stresses, compound disturbances and abrupt change. Um, and then um, we'll move on to our second speaker, which will be Camille Palmerson from the University of Plymouth in the UK uh, and also the University of Texas at Austin. Um, she's worked on um, effects of climate change on, on a range of species in both, in both terrestrial and marine systems, so it's going to be great to get your um, perspectives. Um, and she'll be talking today about the impacts of climate change on wild species um, in terms of the complexities and in terms of the, the surprises we may anticipate. Our, our third speaker um, at, at, at the far end there is, is Richard Pearson from the University College London, UK. He's a director of, um, of the Centre of Biodiversity and Environment at University College London. And his work's focused really on, on, on what drives the distribution of species, and that's what he's going to be uh, focusing on, on today. And, and then finally, um, Steve Palumby from Stanford University, um, who's... Um, uh, uh, has, I guess he's best known for some of his work on, um, um, I guess you're the, the genetic, uh, genetic detective is the, is the phrase, um, for his work on whales and, uh, and, and sharks in, in, in food items, but also using those techniques for looking at uh, coal resistance um, in particular. Uh, he's also been very active um, in the design of um, MPAs, particularly on the Californian uh, coast, but also elsewhere. Um, and he's also a communicator in terms of uh, television, uh, uh, the media uh, and books, um, and a board member of several conservation organizations. And he'll be giving some perspectives to, to tie, uh, tie this session up. So um, they're going to do all of that in five minutes flat. Um, and <laughs> um, I've got the envious task of, of stopping them. And uh, um, I, I saw some techniques on the media last night from a person from not very far away from here, so I shall, uh, I shall start <laughs> taking that, to, that focus. So um, if I could just uh, invite you up, Monica, and you can start proceedings. Thank you. <laughs> 